Brad Racky looking Eventually. for his 18th win. Didn't have his best stuff. Top five tied at three. Brett Boone right drives there. one. Matt Lawton back, back, corner, back. back. Sorry, Berman. Back. Racky gave up five earn and six in the third. Bottom six tied at four. Marty Cordova up and up to no good. Two men aboard. Cordova down the line off Danny Graves. Ron Coomer scores. Starter Gabe White charged with the run, charged with the loss. Radke wins his 18th. Good day for that. Tom Candiotti pitching to Ken Griffey Jr. And Kenneth is amused by the simplicity of this game. It's deep to right and gone. one nothing Seattle, 44th homer of the year for Griff. Bottom of six, Jamie Moyer, no hitter for Seattle. Otis Nixon chops it up the middle. Alex Rodriguez is coming, stopping it. Saves the no hitter. It'll be lost shortly thereafter. Through six and a third, he had a no hitter. Bottom of ninth, one nothing Mariners. Mike Timlin serving up a big plate of meat for Eric Karros. Karros, 10th interleague home run in 14 games, one up, extra innings. Now top of the 10th, runners on second and third. Todd Worrell to Dan Wilson. He takes it to right. Alex Rodriguez scores. It's 2-1. And show them what they've won. It's an American League baseball game, 3-1. The M's got a great start, but almost didn't survive the great pitching of Jamie Morris. Angelo Encarnacion. Quadrangular. Three-run home run. His first homer is an Angel. Still plenty of good seats out there. Angels go up 4-2. Giants fielding trouble all day long. Bill Miller. My bad. And here comes Barry Bonds. Good backup. He's coming after it. And then he's down. They didn't lose much on that play. Top of fifth, Tim Salmon. He's up. First and third. One out. The drive to center. Daryl Hamilton coming. Makes the great catch. And the great throw back to first. Except nobody's there. Ricky Henderson scores. Angels up by a count of 5-2. to two. Same inning. Darren Hurst out at the plate. Drive to right. Stan Javier went back. Then was frozen. Then missed it. Dave Hollins and Garrett Anderson come scoring. And the Angels go up 7-2. to two, Win this thing by a count of 7-4. to four. The Angels kept pace with Seattle to trail in the West by one game. And this time, Avery in a jam, top of first base is loaded. Javier Lopez to short. Garcia pair the great play to make the out. Bottom one, two out. Tom Glavin to Mo Vaughn. Going opposite field over the big, huge green wall. 29th homer and ninth on Sunday night baseball for his career. Two nothing, one out, bases unloaded. Andrew Jones, 15th homer of the year in Atlanta's 10th Grand Slam of the year. That is a new National League record. Now bottom of two, one out, bases loaded, Glavin to Vaughn, and Vaughn, four, six, and three, double play, and from there, Atlanta kind of ran away. Seven, three is your final, Glavin. HR.com. Right, Jose Cruz Jr. off Lee Vaughn Hernandez, 21st on the year. That's as close three, two as you get. Carlos Garcia, the curve. Cruz Jr., the heater. Joe Carter, curve again. Carlos Delgado, the curve. Hernandez struck out six in a row at one point. Top nine, six two Marlins. Gary Sheffield, ooh, he's up to no good. 16th on the year. This one off Marty Jansen and the Marlins Cruz winning it by the final of eight to three. Hernandez. What he saw, top eight, tied at two. Go ahead and run a third for the Pirates. Mark Smith. Fly to left. Dave Nielsen all over. It makes the catch. Great D. Game tied. Bottom of the ninth. Lead off double by Jesse Levis. Gerald Williams, the perfect sack bunt. And Levis is running over to third, not pictures. Perfect execution. There's Levis at third. Two intentional walks. Load the bases. And Jeff Husen into the vacancy. Right center. Winning run comes in. And the Brewers are winners by a count of three to two. Brewers couldn't have been. That's one way to start the Astros White Sox oh, highlight. Frank two Thomas blindsided by Derek Bell. And here goes Bill Spires trying to rip off second. He's conked on the head by the throw of George Fabregas. Nasty Welt whips his helmet around like Larry Walker at the All-Star game. Top of night. Astros down 3-1. Two on, one out. Jeff Bagwell followed the hostess. Your table is waiting. Mark Matt Karchner got him to go away. Craig Biggio's on second, looking to go to third. And now he'll look to go to the dugout. And then eat in the dugout and then go home. It's over. He got thrown out. Chicago wins it. Three, one of the Yankees, Mike Johnson facing Bernie Williams. Gone. 18th on the year, two nothing Yankees on the bomb. New York also getting it done defensively. Wade Boggs robbing Mark Ruzelanik. Same innings, Boggs gets David Segui, completes the double play. And it's Wade Boggs again, getting Rondell White. Top eight, three, two Yankees, the Expos threaten. Man at third, man at second, man at first. So the bases are loaded, two outs. Mariano Rivera facing Darren Fletcher and got the whiff and got out of the jam. Yankees win it by the final of 
three to two. Rivera, who had blown his two previous save opportunities, now is hoping his luck would change. Bottom of the second, Orioles down one other thing, and uh, Edgardo Alfonso. Two two pitch. Foul territory. Cal Ripken moving over, throwing a beat, and then Cal makes the catch. Cal pulled it in. Top three. Orioles still down one nothing. Leonard first, Bush Husky. Brady Anderson. Deep center field. Anderson. Good beat on it. And then runs out of real estate. 17th on the year for Husky. Another loss at home for Key. And the Mets win this one by the final four to one. Mets handing ball. A drive into the little Johnson flare. Field. Melvin Nieves comes in, gets the grab. Pitching was the story. Justin Thompson on the mound, facing Roland. And gets the whiff on the off speed pitch. Mike Lieberthal breaking ball again. Tony Barron. That's cheese. And then Ruben Amaro, breaking ball. Thompson struck out seven, picked up his 12th win of the season. Tigers win it by the final. It's the target. Of two to one. Tigers beat the Phillies. Runners on first and third. David Bell, the grounder. Deep short. Shane Halter. Fumbles. Halts. Doesn't do anything with it. Scarborough Green comes to score. Game tied at three. Next batter, Willie McGee. The roller toward first. McGee's Olsen's fast. And it's even easier because nobody's there to cover first. Olsen throws over, but. Royce Clayton, who had strayed, ended up scoring, and LaRusso and his boys won this thing by a count of five to four. So the Cards get two out of the bottom of third, and Larry Walker's your batter against Mike Oquist. And in the event of a water landing, use your seat cushion as a flotation device. Two-run shot, National League leading 39th. Bottom of five, tied at two, not anymore. This thing is, is way far. He's gonna get his name in the paper. Why? Because it's the longest home run ever hit at Coors Field. They measured it 493 feet, just exceeding Galarraga's homer, I believe, last Thursday. Walker's in the books, the longest ever at Coors Field. John Burkett. And only Barnes & Noble allows one to stay around so long without doing anything. Tony Gwynn is going away. Rare occurrence, just 24 strikeouts all year. Same inning. Wally Joyner at bat, drills this thing to right. Steve Finley's come to score. Juan Gonzalez throw. Wide can Caminiti come around to score on that? And the Padres are up by a count of four to one. Joiner went three for four. Padre relievers pitching well. Top of the ninth, Trevor Hoffman to Lee Stevens. And fall to host as she table is waiting. Hoffman and Tim Morell caved six people in three innings of shutout relief. So some late season, actually too late in the season, great pitching for San Diego.